Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we're going to give you a little flight time with the Skydio, a little bit of behind the scenes of filming a shot for our SSRT video. <laughs> at with Chris and Adrian at Snowshoe, Pennsylvania. Want some snacks, Mike? Chris offers me a snack before we go for a flight. Now the Skydio 2 Plus has multiple visual sensors. For the most part, it has been good in avoiding obstacles, but one of the caveats we do have to mention is that if you are not flying where there are leaves on the trees, sometimes the branches, if they're small, yeah, uh, are not always detected properly, which we will see a little bit later in this video. But typically when we fly this, we fly it with the phone app and with the beacon. And the beacon is a tracking device that is connected to it via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So here we have the Skydio view. And we can see that uh, I'm trying to keep it some distance away so it's actually formatted and has a decent view of uh, Adrian's side-by-side. And then once we do get this going, it is a narrow channel on the rail bed here, so we're going to make sure that we do have a bit of clearance, but we don't want her too far away. And so once I get into the hopefully this doesn't ride, bad, but I'm going to be tracking a little bit of her height and her distance. And with the beacon or the phone app, they are very similar in controls forward backward you can uh, do a distance or increase the range of the skydio and it's all pretty much real time i mean if you're flying along right, it's going to be able go. to react I to mean, obstacles first but it also bit. reacts to your input so uh, if you have some areas without trees you'll probably have a better experience than we did here Battery time isn't right. bad. Still, if it's yeah. heavy winds, she yeah. is still pretty stable. We also have a Mini 3 Pro, and this is a smaller unit, but the Skydio has enough heft okay. to it that it's not going to be blown around in the wind. And so here we're just trying to keep her in the, the channel right here right. of the rock face and away from any trees. And we picked this because there were minimal trees that were directly overhead, maybe in the five to 10 foot range above the height of the side-by-side. -side. And I just had Adrian drive slow, picked up a little bit of speed, but this was just to get me a little bit of B-roll for the SSRT ride, uh, which obviously we got. Some of these branches were a little bare and I could see there worth some potential okay. issues coming up but up we could have stopped we made the executive decision to keep going and obviously we see what happens we go a little faster the trees are very lightly Center covered in leaves and that's the challenge we had she missed one and uh, down she went so we went ahead and picked her up and as we state the damage was minimal it wasn't a very high fall and she did fall onto gravel we only lost two props please give us a subscribe and a like if you enjoy our content this is a bit of behind the scenes but normally we are filming and riding this is just a little bit of B-roll for our SSRT episode that we did. So good that the drone is still on and functional. I was able to extract video from it so I knew it was still intact and functional. Just missing some parts of the propellers. So it's not the first time I've crashed the Skydio, it probably won't be the last, but it is important for you to have care or insurance on your 
drone, we recommend that if you have a DJI, you use DJI Care, or Skydio has its own insurance plan where you pay 150 bucks and you can pretty much mail it in and get it back in a timely fashion, as opposed to a costly, expensive repair. So keep that in mind, and it always is handy for you to carry spare props. Something like Skydio, you have to order it from them. They don't sell these on Amazon. However, DJI does have quite a lot of spare parts available in various locations in Amazon and online centers. So a set of props and we were back in the air. Thank you to our sponsors and partners for being on board. And please visit Lit Industries for 50% off hex billet rock lights while supplies last. We thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you out there on the trail. Thanks.